All right, so let's start this special broadcast with a very interesting interview which the former Afghan president, Hamid Karzai, has given to the Associated Press. Remember, Hamid Karzai, in fact, served as the president of Afghanistan for almost about 13 years. And he's put out some rather interesting and shocking details about what has been happening in Kabul. Now, he also said that it was the sudden departure of the ousted Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, is what has brought about the chaos in Afghanistan at this point of time. Hamid Karzai said that Ashraf Ghani and all of his top officials, including the defense minister, Bismillah Khan, and the Kabul police chief, fled. And it was he who invited the Taliban into the city of Kabul to protect its people and also to protect the country from falling into complete chaos. Hamid Karzai also added that had Ashraf Ghani not fled from the country in such a hurry and in such a secret manner, then the government's negotiator and the Taliban leadership in Doha would have seen the Taliban enter into the city of Kabul according to a negotiated deal, and it would be that negotiated deal that would have in fact dictated the terms of Taliban's conduct in Afghanistan. Listen in to these rather interesting claims by the former Afghan president. It was a request to, to come in and protect the population so that the country, the, the city doesn't fall into chaos and the uh, um, unwanted elements who would uh, probably loot the country, loot shops, so it was an automatic process subsequent to that, and an and, and inevitability. The government should stay in its positions and should not move, that they have no intention to enter the city. And I and uh, others spoke to various officials and assurances were given to us that yes, that was the case, that the Americans and the government forces were holding firm to the places in that um, Kabul would, would, would not uh, fall. There was no official present at all in, 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 in the capital. No police chief, no corps commander, no um, uh, other units. They had all left. They had all left. All right, so these are some very interesting claims that Hamid Karzai is now putting forth almost three months since, four months since the Taliban has been in power in Kabul. Now, according to Hamid Karzai, the Taliban leadership in Qatar had promised that they would remain on the outskirts of the city of Kabul until a deal was struck. Even on the 15th of August, the day of the capture of Kabul, Karzai called the Taliban leaders in Doha and he was told that the Taliban would not enter into the city. He also reiterated that there would have been an agreement for a peaceful transition of power. Had Ashraf Ghani remained in Kabul, and then the Taliban would, of course, have walked in after an agreement. Absolutely. That is what we were preparing for. Uh, we were hoping, together with uh, the, the, the chairman of Peace Council, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah and other um, elders of the country to go to Doha that evening or the next morning and to finalize an agreement. And I believe the Taliban leaders were also waiting for us in Doha for the same, for the same objective, for the same uh, purpose. It's, it's very interesting to in fact see that Hamid Karzai believes that the Taliban would have of course honored the word that they were on the outskirts of the gates of Kabul and would have come in peacefully once a deal was struck. Now, currently in his talks with the Taliban, Hamid Karzai is advocating for a temporary resurrection of the constitution that governed Afghanistan when it was a monarchy. The idea was also floated during the earlier Doha talks. He says that a traditional lawyer jirga, a grand, grand council of all Afghans, including women, will be convened to decide the country's future. However, there is absolutely no indication whatsoever that the Taliban is willing to accept this formula floated by Hamid Karzai. Now, Karzai also says that the Taliban have not rejected the plans so far in the discussions. The former Afghan president also said that in future, the country needs to have universal education rights for both boys and girls, and that women must have their place in Afghan polity, economic and social activity. He also said that until this happens, the international community must come forward to engage with the Taliban. 
the Taliban government and us, the Afghan people, must, must do all that is necessary within the country by way of uh, seeking uh, the will of the Afghan people, bringing all the Afghan people together, having a truly representative government of the Afghan people, broadly, broadly representative, so that all the Afghan people see themselves represented in that mirror uh, of, 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 of the country, and that the women return to work and, and girls go to school. So all that is necessary and good for Afghanistan, we must do. And when we do that, the international community will have no reason to deny us recognition. They will, they will, they will definitely come and recognize. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.